This week, I want to break down a very effective zone defense, which I have uh, just started to use. Now, this defense is from the 4-6 bear. The play is called Wall Cover 4. And we're going to take a look at it against Ben's switch. <clears throat> now here we go, wall cover four. Now to set this up, what I like to do is call ball and pin run. Linebacker audible up to put the blitzing linebacker in a hook zone. The defensive end on the left of the screen I'm going to put in purple. And I'm going to spy the two D linemen over uh, the guards. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the middle linebacker and stack him in the A gap. Kind of like I'm blitzing, but I'm going to mainly control this player. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do sometimes is I can use this player as like a wild card. I can pretty much do whatever I want with him. Um, so I could man him up possibly on a player. Um, if they're hitting you a lot with running back routes, quick passes, you can man him up. Um, you can man him up on a slot receiver. You can put him in a flat. I mean, you can put him, you know, pretty much in anything you want to do with him. Because we don't really need a, him in a hook zone because we already have two spies and then this player right here in a hook zone that we're mainly going to control. But if you want to leave him in a hook zone, then that's fine as well. But um, basically what I'm going to do with this middle linebacker who I mainly control, I'm going to... Well, th there's two reasons why I mainly control mainly. If it turns out to be a run play, I can shoot the gap mainly and hit the running back in the backfield. Um, and also, if you know the run, the offense is using a lot of crossing routes or drags over the middle, I can like use or cover them a lot better if I'm playing over the middle than if this is just a normal computer, you know, hook zone. So anyway, that's kind of my thought process there. Here's basically the little setup people like to use. And let's see here. As you can see, I mean, there's really nothing open. Now, keep in mind, I'm not using using bracket right now because of the fact that, uh, you know, I have to play with the quarterback. If I was using bracket, he wouldn't have been acting all stupid here. I would have discarded the drag route myself. You see how he's just being dumb. I don't know. That's just because I'm not able to use him. You see the two spies cover the, the delay routes out of the backfield. Now notice that because we call bump and run and this is a cover four, deep zones actually cover the um, the smart routed corners very well. You don't uh, you don't need to to uh, shift your or shade your coverage up like you would from other zones. You you really don't need to do that. So as you see, I mean, there's nothing open. The only thing that is open kind of is the drag at this point for about you know, a five yard gain on the sideline, but the reason why it's open is because I'm not mainly controlling the linebacker like I would in a normal game because I'm playing on the, uh, the offense right now. So you can see how uh, well this uh, this play uh, covers things. Now, the, the reason why I like this play is zone to me, the, especially cover four, is defend face throws much better than man. Man, you got to do a lot of crazy things and still that you can't get burned when you call bump and run from man a lot more than you would zone. Now, um, so I use this play a lot in this week's Coach's Corner, so you can see how I adjust from it and how effective it is for me. The thing with this 4-6 uh, bear defense is, um, you know, this looks exactly like a lot of the pressures we can bring. And if you start out bringing pressures, you know, early in the game to show the offense that you got them and then go to this, the offense is going to be blocking at least one or two guys. So that leaves you with possibly three players going out on routes against a max coverage D. And, I mean, that's just going to be easy. Nothing, nothing there for the offense at all. This is definitely a play you want to put in your audibles uh, using the 4-6 defensive playbook.